Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this day. I just pray that you, you bless our time together and especially bless Daniel as he takes this, this leap of faith, this, this yes. Dear Lord, we're just so grateful for family, for friends. We're just thankful for you and for the way that you've guided the lives of Daniel and Colleen to bring them to this moment. And I pray that you continue to use them in, in impacting so many of their lives for you. I pray for their future. I pray for marriage. Father God, I pray that you would be the focus. Today, every one of those prayers is answered. Today, the shepherd reveals the sacred gift he had waiting for you. Where do I even begin? From the moment I met you in the coffee shop in line at LSU, I knew you were very special. And not only just drawn by your beauty, but again in the last five minutes, I was like, wow, this is a really awesome girl. I walked away just fist pumping, like, let's freaking go. And I thought she was literally just like this angel from, you know, just dropped from above. You were just telling me about her, I'm like, she's not real. All these stories you were saying, all these qualities, I was just like, there's no way. Who is this girl? Like, she's the female version of Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I remember talking to Miss Stacy, saying, what did you do? Give me advice. How can I raise my children to be as precious as Colleen is? <laughs> when people talk about my son, and it's not just like words, like, he's such a nice guy, he's such... He's so sincere. He really is probably the nicest person I know. And, and his intentionality and overflows into everyone that's around him. Thank you for, for letting nothing be ordinary. Being disciplined, always hype, nothing ordinary. Damn. she goes into. She just radiates this light of Christ. And she is a lifelong, constant, faithful friend. Hey, Colleen. Awesome. Wow. Oh, great. You're going to be wonderful. Praise the Lord. Well, and it's not her golden hair or her beauty, but it's the beauty of her soul that radiates. And I look up, and it's the angel again, Miss Colleen Cheney. So I sent her a text. We saw each other again two days ago. But would you be interested in going to this business gala with me? I get a text from Colleen that says, I've thought about it, and you know what? That sounds like a blast, like I'll be there. My brother-in-law, Sam, dropped me off. This lumberjack-like man, very like burly and protective. Sam was like, hey, like, where are you? Like, point him out to me. And I kind of like pointed him out, and he was like, the guy with the man bun? Like, no. <laughs> We pull up, I see this long-haired dude, and I'm like, Colleen, write my phone number down just in case this joker decides to take you. They told us your one rule was not to invite anyone, your family, or because like, your sole purpose is to network. And that night, I didn't talk to anybody but Colleen, and it was the best decision of my life. Now hear the love story, and the birds chirping, and the flowers seem to be even more beautiful. Daniel, you brought color to my world. God is so faithful. My prayers as a little boy have been answered and more. I will always protect you or love. I've been praying for my future wife for a very long time. My heart is overflowing with joy to know that person that I've been praying for has been you this entire time. i
To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. From this day forth. I believe that God. I believe that God. Has chosen us for one another. Has chosen us for one another. I will love and cherish you and Noah. I will love and cherish you and Noah. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I know when I first met her, I was like, there's no way that like I'd ever... You know, be with someone like that when I met you just briefly, and like when I, the first day, like when I got to meet you and I seen you from afar, I was like, I, like, I, like this is someone I want to be with, you know, like forever. I remember that night waking up at like 3 a.m. Mm. and thinking, like, was that a dream? You know, so many people have talked about that first date and how crazy it was, but I really think it points to this, I'm ready for anything. This is my moment. There's this girl, she might say yes. This is the way you live life. I pronounce you husband and wife, Daniel, you may now kiss your wife. It's my great joy and honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Joseph Ellender Jr. And y'all probably know these two words that Daniel loves to say. Let's go. Let's go.